This is Cruise News Today with Doug Parker. A former Royal Caribbean crew member, Arvin Joseph Marisol, has been sentenced to 30 years in a federal prison for installing hidden cameras in guest staterooms on board Royal Caribbean ship Symphony of the Seas. Marisol, who worked as a stateroom attendant, placed the cameras to record passengers, including families, in the private bathrooms. Now, the hidden cameras were discovered by a guest, leading to an investigation by Homeland Security and U.S. Customs. Marisol pleaded guilty to charges of video voyeurism and underage photos. Royal Caribbean has condemned his actions and is cooperating fully with authorities. And Carnival Cruise Line has reaffirmed its policy of treating vaping and smoking equally on board its vessels. This follows complaints from some passengers, including a vape user, who argued that vaping should not be restricted to designated smoking areas. Now, Carnival's brand ambassador, John Heald, clarified that vaping and smoking are only permitted in specific outdoor areas and parts of the onboard casino. Violations of this policy can result in a $500 fine and potentially being kicked off the ship. And the Norwegian Jade has arrived in Boston to begin its fall season, offering round-trip sailings to Canada and the New England area through late October. After the season, the ship repositions to Miami for winter cruises in the Caribbean and over to Bahamas. Other Norwegian Cruise Line ships also operating in the Northeast include Norwegian Gem, Norwegian Breakaway, and coming soon, Norwegian Sky and Norwegian Joy. And the market was closed on Monday for the holiday. It reopens later on this morning. Lead on a story? Drop me a line, tips at cruiseradio.net. Here at the Evil Knievel Jump Site along the Snake River from 1974, September 8th, I believe. I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today. Have yourself a great Tuesday.